So now I'm going to put the bracket, uh, I'm going to pick the black one, sadly, onto my um, shoe here in a second. And here is the stride foot pod and the bracket. So let me do that here quick and uh, take off my shoe. And there we go, and I'm going to put it on. All right, I'm getting ready to start on my treadmill here. And uh, Zwift wanted an update. So let's deal with that for a second. And then, uh, of course, that was really fast. I'm, I'm really surprised. Good, up, good quick update. Now, this is my first time out with these. I don't know what it will take to wake them up. Um, uh, the stride foot pod the directions at one time. Uh, I said that if you have trouble connecting, you have to run for a little bit at at least a five mile an hour or 12 minute pace. And that might be interesting. I hope that's not really actually true. Uh, and now that I've clicked let's go, Zwift is taking all freaking day to start. I don't really need to see a whole bunch of these little slides. I would rather just be running. Like running. And, uh, oh, hey, uh, <sighs> all right. Oh, look, it's a brand new kind of thingy. It looks a little different. A little. So this is the Zwift startup screen. Uh, takes a little while to run through all of these little things and, and see the little uh, windows, little I'm thinking really hard, I'm thinking really hard, I'm thinking really hard, I'm thinking really hard. I'm okay, hopefully I can get on the treadmill here sometime and, uh, and get this going. I'm gonna take a little drink here. Uh, you guys don't need to be like this slice of life thing going here. And I forgot to get my tablet. I've been a, a slacker lately and I've been watching Amazon Prime video. And um, which I, I awesome deal because I've been a Prime member since like uh, since I was a baby. <coughs> Okay, you can hear that music and you know what that means, right? It means that this might have actually worked. Oh, crap, testing. Forgot to plug in, I had a computer issue the other day and I forgot to plug in my ant. Hang on. Oh, where's the ant? There it is. Yeah, the Bluetooth receiver is off because my phone fell asleep with all of this. Steady base high. Uh, oh, it's only 3.7 miles, so maybe I do have time. Great. Good deal. Oh, hey, I'm in Watopia. I've missed this. I haven't been there in a while. And there's my Zwift screen. It's showing me at 3.7. Which, according to the magic people at Stride, is actually what my treadmill is doing, regardless of any other thing. Here I am running at uh, 3.7, because Stride is always right. And if you don't believe it, go look at their support pages on the website. They, they do mention that. Oh, and by the way, regardless of what my treadmill says, right as I was right. Okay, I'm going to do this for a little while. Okay, so I have my tremble set to 4.4 to get my 4.1. And uh, here I am just walk, 
walking quickly at 4.1. Hey, if you notice something really kind of cool, you know, as far as my like really great tech day going on here, check out this total distance there. Freaking awesome. My treadmill's having one of those days. Had to pause for a second to catch up my heart rate. Um, when I started, apparently it didn't catch my ticker run, which usually I would get with Ant Plus. But this time I got it with uh, Bluetooth, so it took a little longer to catch up to it. So I had to just pause and repair it, and now it's working good. I don't know if you heard that, but that was my shock. Apparently, there is some electrostatic discharge going on out here. But um, we're at 4.8 again, zero miles, and. That's 4.4. Then I am walking quickly at 4.4 miles an hour. And my knee is causing me a minor amount of distress. Hopefully I can make it through the whole workout. So here I am. Too long at 4.6. And uh if I have nothing else to say, it would be that the Stride Foot Pod is super consistent, stays connected, isn't wandering all over the place, and I like it. Uh, for that alone, it's probably worth it if you are seriously into Zwift running, treadmill running where you want to take track of it. I have to do an experiment with this with with the Stride app here shortly. Um, it's interesting. I like it. I'm overall happy. Okay, I wrapped it up. I got in my 3.75 miles, and uh, don't have a treadmill shot for you because it was. Uh, um, it has an issue every now and then where it loses track of the speed sensor or something, so it doesn't record miles properly. And uh, there I am at the end. <coughs> Marching in place to see what happens. 0.1 miles per hour. Love it. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and end here. And... Uh, <coughs> Take my requisite uh, shots here. <coughs> and uh, end run. Oh, hey, and uh, save and exit. I guess I didn't really look at everything. Next time is five miles of long fartlek by Thursday. I can't even imagine what a fartlek would look like on a uh, treadmill training program. So we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so anyway, my first impressions are that the uh, stride foot pot is freaking awesome. Love it in every way there is to love it. And now I have to see um, about turning off the app and syncing because. Uh, I probably misread some directions about how to do that, and uh, now I'm going to turn on the Stride app. <coughs> uh, and uh, now it is syncing from the Stride, transmitting one offline data. It's interesting. I'll have to see what it says. I'm curious now. And, and maybe, I don't know if I'll be able to do it in this video, but you know, Flying Sync is finished. Good deal. Now, all right, there it is. <coughs> 178 watts. Uh, globe there, like I've been running in Nigeria today. <coughs> okay, this is just a summary. It's not really a... Uh, all that uh, explicit. I guess I'll have to go online to check. 
and now there's a better check battery your stride battery levels 96 percent hey that's really actually pretty good after an hour of running on the treadmill oop there we go and I don't know why it has the freaking map I'll have to look into that Be oh I suppose if I was recording with the phone uh, I would have had a map okay cool all right anyway I love it it's fun you know me and tech and we'll see where we are next time I try this I'm gonna have to try a steep run and set the percentage in the uh, in the app